Hello, um, I want to talk about the subject of bullying in China. Uh, for this video, I'm specifically talking about school bullying. Um, bullying, of course, crosses over into workplace bullying as well, and that should in no way be downplayed. It's a very real problem. Um, but there have been a number of high-profile cases involving specific school bullying. Um, there have also been cases of bosses um, humiliating the staff and so on, so that's, that's a form of bullying as well. Bullying takes different forms. Um, now, why am I focusing on China? Um, I don't want people to get the wrong idea. In no way am I insinuating that China is any worse than any other country. This is truly a global phenomenon. It's truly something that is all over the world, and it is something that's been going on for, well, forever. It's not a new thing. But the cases that have been highlighted in China are particularly appalling. Um, CCTV, actually, um, China Central Television, raise awareness of these cases. So this is not sort of um, one of these situations where it's a, a Western news source, you know, as, as Chinese nationalists would say, criticising China. This is a Chinese source, um, a Chinese state source for that matter. I give them credit for raising awareness of it because it is a big problem. Um, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about some of the cases I've seen and my response to it. Apparently between 2014 and 2015, there were 43 high-profile serious cases. That's just the serious cases. That isn't all cases. Um, now, some of these cases are truly sickening. In one situation, um, a teenage boy was basically brought to a sort of um, yard outside the school. Um, it looked like some sort of waste ground. And a group of other teenage boys basically um, pelted him with stones and even a concrete slab. And there was a girl there as well. And there was about five or six of them. And they were basically stoning this kid. Um, I don't think he died, but at the very least, he would have been in serious intensive care. Um, it was pretty barbaric. And, you know, the, the footage shows blood all over the, the area where this happened. So this this kid was being stolen by a pack of evil thugs, as far as I'm concerned. In another case, a group of school girls brought one of their classmates to a school roof. They stripped her. They slapped her repeatedly. One of them got a concrete slab and threw it over her head. Um, now, whether... I don't know. I found it incredible that she didn't keel over with that. Um... She kind of staggered around days, but the sort of degrading, vicious nature of these assaults goes well beyond name calling. That's not to say name calling isn't uh, is a trivial matter. It's not, but this really, really is barbaric. Um, and I'm convinced that these kids will grow up to be hardcore triad gangsters or. Um, in the case of the, the girls, you know, brothel madams or really high profile criminals. Um, now, it's bad enough that this is happening. Um, there's a good point and a bad point. Firstly, the bad side to this, obviously that it's happening, but I was absolutely infuriated when I read that the school, the case of the girl, all they done was verbally reprimanded the students responsible. And I think they suspended them for a day. That was it. They should be in some sort of youth incarceration. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, I would be well in favour of corporal punishment in those sort of cases. Um, put it this way, China, like any other country, as far as I know, they have laws against assault. Um, you know, China is a complex system because on one hand, there is, you know, we sort of interpret China in the West as being very authoritarian in terms of uh, cracking down on dissent and so on, and that's true. But in other crimes, it's actually incredibly lax. Now, part of the problem is um, in smaller cities, the police are not really funded that well. Um, there is a problem with resources. There's a number of factors. Um, and frankly, there is a certain degree of corruption and apathy. Police can be paid off. There, there's a wide range of factors. Um, I'm not suggesting that is exactly what's happened in these cases. 
but there is a tolerance by authority figures that is reprehensible. Um, that is by teachers, by head teachers, and by parents. That makes my stomach turn, to be quite honest, that these cardly, cardly adults are not doing something about this. You know, I've been a teacher in China, and I, um, in my classes, I never personally witnessed bullying. But then again, you know, I had over a thousand students. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily have known if it was going on. Um, and you know, I don't want to be too hard on teachers because, um, and when I say cardly teachers, perhaps I should explain what I mean by that. I'm not talking about them being cardly in so far as you know, the situation going on and they may not know about it. But what infuriated me about that particular case was it was after the evidence came to light, after the video became viral. I don't know whether one of the bullies put it online or whatever. The point is the video footage was there. Afterwards, nothing happened. Now, perhaps there were some teachers who were down the scale who did want something to be done. But someone in the chain of authority took it on themselves to say, oh, well, we'll just tell them off. So there is a trivialization of this, which I find disgusting. In other words, it's just not taken seriously. And this is not that the West is any better. Um, in Western countries, one of the biggest problems with bullying is you get these absurd social scientists um, who argue that the bully needs to be treated on, on level with the victim and that, oh, we need to understand them and we need to talk to them and they they make it a level playing field as if the victim is equally responsible. That absolutely infuriates me. I mean, watching this footage, I have to say, made my blood boil. And I really, really, really sincerely hope that the bullies get some serious karma. I hope something bad happens to them in their life. And when that bad thing is happening, it is going through their mind. This is because of what I done to that kid back in 2015, it, it just, I, I cannot comprehend how people could be so cruel, so sadistic. And the thing about, you know, the boys, they looked like little thugs, but with the girls, it was almost more disturbing because these girls did not look like tough kids. They, they didn't look like their caricature bully, um, if there is such a thing. They, they, you know, they're the sort of girls you see them on the street, you would think they're just normal teenage girls. So to see what they were capable of made my stomach turn. And I have to say, you know, as a teacher, I personally would want to be proactive. I'd never put my hand on a student. That would be stupid. That would be, you know, a gateway to getting fired or worse. But at the very least, I would be yelling in the bully's face. And saying that this is no way to act, but as a foreign teacher, that would be hard for me to do. Um, I think there needs to be more empowerment of teachers to act. Now, in the case of the West, the fault is that you get all sorts of ridiculous rules about bullies being treated on par with the victims. Basically, without wanting to sound too conservative, the fact of the matter is teachers are not empowered, and we are far too keen to understand the needs of individual students so empowerment is taken away from the teacher to have an assertive level of control i think that is disgraceful um, in china the problem is not that the teachers are not given control but that there is a certain degree of apathy um, people just don't care so both sides are wrong and this is a problem on both sides i'm not saying by the way no one in china cares um, China is a huge country. There's millions and millions and millions of people. And there are many decent Chinese people who would be angered by this and outraged by it um, and would want something to be done. Um, I mean, there's definitely a social conscience in China that is has definitely developed with more internet availability. It is true that the internet is censored, but nevertheless, China has more web users than ever before. And believe me, this sort of thing goes around the internet in China. And most Chinese people have a decent sense of right and wrong. And most people will see this and they will be just as infuriated as I am. So that is one good aspect about these cases. The fact that the bullies are so stupid that they're putting it online will implicate them. Now, they may get away with it when they're in school. Hopefully in life, karma will swing around and smack them hard in the face. Um, it just sickens me to the core. 
I do believe that bullying, this sort of bullying, and this applies all over the world, ever since but my country, I believe that it should make bullying a criminal offence. The moment it's kind of themed as a behavioural issue, and that it's kind of this wishy-washy, oh, we need to understand the thinking of the bully. The hell with that. The only thing that needs to be understood is that when they do this, then vulnerable children, uh, vulnerable young people, are being attacked. And I don't want to say weak people, by the way. I think that would be a mistake to present the victim as weak, because anybody, when they're attacked by a gang of worthless cards, would be vulnerable. Anyone. It doesn't matter how strong or confident you think you are. And it makes me really angry when people kind of blame the victim and say, oh, well, they should stand up for themselves or they're, they're, you know, it's because they're weak or something. That's nonsense. Nobody, no matter how strong or self-confident they are, can take on a gang of six people. These bullies are scum. Simple as that. They are absolute scum. And I don't care how young they are, they should be put into a youth incarceration. And they, some sort of boot camp where you have soldiers or some other authority figure yelling in their face, telling them they are a card. You know, I strongly believe in that because I think it is the only way that they will change. If you give them a tap on the wrist, if you just give them a verbal reprimand, then they go throughout life thinking they'll get away with it. And then they will graduate to being, you know, high level triads or whatever. Um, the only way that this ends is to scare the shit out of the bully to the point where they will never do it again. I firmly believe that. So yeah, I believe in some sort of incarceration or something, or even some sort of uh, humiliation, forcing them to wear t-shirts, I am a card, you know, and plastering all over the internet. They need to suffer. They need to suffer. And I don't really give a damn how this sounds. I fucking detest bullies. And this sort of thing makes my blood boil. And, you know, I'm not saying China is the only country. And I give CCT credit for highlighting this case, but those are my thoughts on it. And um, if you're Chinese, please let me know what you think. Um, what do you think should be done about this? By the way, if you're going to make excuses for the bullies, um, don't even bother commenting here, because I'm going to flame you. I'm going to shut you down, because as far as I'm concerned, people who make excuses for bullies are just as bad as bullies. These people deserve no sympathy, and the victim is not to blame. The only people to blame are the scum responsible. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it's scumbag parents producing scumbag children. Anyway, that that's it. I hate them. And that's, this video is a bit of a rant, but that's how I feel about it. I fucking hate them. And, um, yeah, I, I really, really think the only approach to this is much harsher, harsher penalties, some sort of boot camp or something that will scare them, really scare them into never doing this as long as they live.